Hi teachers, I am at the cafe and I'm standing in line and I usually do two things that will increase my business. So I figured, you know what, why not I do a video and show you what I do. So number one is I click on the VIP Kid app and it just has to be in the, in the phone app. And then there we go. We have our interested and our potential students. I clicked on the middle button, which is uh, students. And then I look through my potentially recurring students and I look to see if any of them have a little birthday cake and no none of them have a birthday cake so that's good that means that none of them are coming up to have a birthday anytime soon and then I go into my interested students and I look to see if I have any birthday cakes there so let's look if I have any birthday cakes birthday cakes oh there we go Charles Charles has a birthday and Charles has had 45 classes he is born on the 19th and he has had two classes with me he is an interested student as well so I haven't seen him in a long time and the way that I can tell is that the last time I saw him was September 28th and actually I was his trial teacher and I converted him so the easiest way to kind of encourage him to come back to me and take a class is to hit this little gift button and it's his birthday, so I can send him a gift. And I know people are not enjoying, you know, that you can't write and pre-write what you want. And I totally understand that. But this is a way for me to have a connection with my kids and um, somebody maybe I haven't seen in a long time. This one's September 28th. And maybe I can get him back. So I want to put happy birthday. And then I agree to sign, to send this greeting card and just hit send. It doesn't cost anything and I hit OK and then go from there. Anytime I am waiting in line for something, I do this. So I kind of just go through and see if there are any birthdays. Um, and the reason why I do this is that this is an extra thing that maybe their regular teachers aren't even doing. If you are not doing it for your interested students, then it's a possibility that um, somebody else that is looking for other students is and think about this if you were a parent would you want to be remembered by your regular teacher or by a teacher that you only had two times of course you'd want to be remembered by your regular teacher but if you're a teacher that you have only seen twice has actually wished you a happy birthday you would remember that person and I don't know how many teachers these people have actually had so they could have 10 teachers so now I have my students these are my students and I look and doi doi he has one class with me and today is his birthday so lo and behold I am gonna send him a card now I'm still in line right so I'm still just sitting here wasting time I could be on Facebook but why when this could actually get me money chances are Facebook is not going to get me money so I will go through and I will just pick out aha Julie Julie oh I've only seen her one time and this was in February so I'm gonna see if I can get her back into my regular lineup sometimes I will do this for students at the very very end of the list that I haven't seen in a really long time during just before the frenzy if I'm concerned that I'm not going to have a good frenzy or I've not had a lot of uh, priority bookings so here is another great thing that you can do while you are standing in line so notice that I have uh, eight missing um, feedbacks and so I can click edit and how am I going to do this I don't necessarily need to text I can actually be driving or in the drive-thru and you notice that I have started this one so I'm going to click on this and then you're gonna notice that there's this little mic is very harsh I'm going to erase that but um, I can go next and uh, notice I can actually put in anything for my teacher to teacher or my information I can grade him and then I can also do this right if I don't do all of them that's fine I can just arrow out on the upper right hand corner and lo and behold everything is still in there if I go back in 
So this is a way that maybe if you want to talk about each individual student and you don't have time to use your computer or you're in line or um, you had to drop off kids or you're waiting for something, instead of having to type, you can do this. This would be a quick and easy way to get your feedback done on time. I hope these two tips have helped you. Please leave in the comments if you'd like to see anything else or if you do anything with the phone app that uh, I haven't shown you yet. I appreciate you watching the videos. Happy teaching. Bye.